Uh, what's up guys so um today i want to show you how tiny diamonds are measured okay these are diamonds uh, if anyone want to fight with me in this uh, video go ahead anyway so we use uh, a vernier normally vernier so these can measure really really tiny um but uh, as a jewelry factory we do lots of lots of jewelry at a time so we need something much faster so we can push out hundreds of stones at a time so we use a sieve with sieve plates okay so i have two in front of me um you can see the measurements so there's the measurement and there's the other measure 1.1 but not all the time it is like this see this is a different plate um what happens is these stones uh, damage these plates as you use them even the when you so the tip may be damaged sometimes so we have to change them keep on checking keep on measuring but uh, these ones are okay for now so i'm gonna use them really quickly so i have the two sizes already okay i'll pick them up in the tray so i'm just gonna go ahead so normally now what i'll do is i use a size bigger just so that all the bigger ones to get the size that i want so uh, for this purpose, I'll use this one. Um, so, just give it a light tap. Whatever doesn't go through is this size on the surf plate. So, I'm just gonna move it out quickly. Some get stuck, and it's out. So, I'll measure one real quickly. So, see, um, take another one. Uh, that's not a bit sticky, so sorry about that. So, I need a zero this one here. Sorry, these are really, really tiny diamonds. So, okay, I'm staying up right now, but, uh, these are 1.1 mils. Um, okay, so the next step will be to put it in a packet. And you can see I have the weight here. Okay, so where I got the weight from is from this uh, this chart on the internet. And 1.1 uh, millimeter is not six. But that's if a diamond is perfectly cut. So I'm just gonna put this back. The next one, so uh, I used this plate. Okay, so I'll just leave it aside. There's the next one, just gonna load it up. These are the ones that came up in the first serve. Put it back here, just gonna put it quickly. I'm not sure if I used this in the beginning, so this locks it in. As you can see. I'll show you now, there's all the diamonds in there and nothing has fallen through. So I'm just gonna remove this one for now. Now we we use way more at a time for carrots of tiny tiny diamonds. And we serve them all day long. This one's still stuck here. So um let's measure this one real quickly. One point oh four. I got this one perfectly. So it may be one digit off, but it's okay because uh, consider the size of these diamonds that can we can use. But um, yeah, so that's how diamonds are. Back again, I'll show you the tray. Uh, I'm only using these two for now. Uh, these are as big as it gets. Well, my set. And uh, that's how lots of tiny diamonds are measured. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I'm just trying to shoot this part again. You just seen me having problems with uh, this. Uh, it's because I'm not right, like down and holding the diamond properly, but I'm gonna serve it one more time. So 
there's the diamonds in. Two taps. And now I'm gonna use this one. Let's put it on there. It's in millimeters. So I'm gonna take it out. It's the space here. And, uh, now this is uh, much more better to work with. So I'm just going to take one tiny one quickly. And on the dot. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe.